console applications is applications without a graphical user interface. You can uh, say that they are text only applications. You just use them in a text environment. Arguments are used to configure console applications and arguments are words on the same line as the name for the uh, console application. They are passed to the application. When it reads those arguments, <laughs> it will know how to work. To show how to pass arguments to a console application, we are using an application called File Wizard here. What I did here was to type the name of the application and then we added in a command called join and three files. And now some code. The file wizard that we just show, what we use this for is to show a library called docopt. Docopt is used to read arguments passed to the console application. And why do we use a library for that? With it isn't that hard to code this yourself. Uh, what can take some time is rules on what type of arguments that are sent and how they are sent and return error information if someone tries to start the application in a way that isn't allowed. Here I will mark a raw string. And this string is what makes Docopt good. It is very easy to set up rules on how to uh, work with Docopt and that is done in this string. And the arguments are for Docopt is uh, returned in map. They are read here. Here we use the method called Docopt parse. Here we just write the full command line, it's a Win32 API. Here we type the org count and number of values that Docopt has read. And here we iterate each value and uh, print some information about it that Docopt has read. Now we are going to test file wizard with arguments. usage part, Docopt set up rules on how to start uh, the console application. The string here has to be matched against the arguments passed to the console application. If Docopt doesn't find a matching string here, uh, it will return an error. Here we have options. That didn't work. Even if we have options here, we got an error. But if we add this. Compile. Now it worked. That worked because we added this uh, 
when I do uh, development, I use selection to take no notes and also manages my applications with this. Um, here is about Docopt, and I can. Here I have done a library node with Docopt. Uh, some information about the Docopt CPP file. It's just one CPP and one header. And also something about the value object in Docopt. The, the value the object is that uh, Docopt re reads from the argument and that you can use later in the application. Here are uh, some information uh, similar to that I showed. Uh, here is the code that uh, was used in the demonstration. Some tests uh, on the tests here. And you can see this if you click on the link in the description. I will put the link to this. Two main functions for Docopt. You can use any of them, but they use they um, work the same, uh, except that this Docopt handles exceptions. Here you need to handle the exceptions yourself. Uh, it's recommended to use this because uh, then you can uh, type error information for the user. Uh, here with this it exits itself. I have also uh, added information about uh, functions for the value object. Can, here are the value row and methods or functions. Here are the names declarations and the, it's very simple it's just what type it is and return the value and here are some links that are good for Docopt here Docopt library the Docopt file the Docopt the value of object for the copt.